This is something I've thought about for a while, and I think I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to make a new account. It's going to be hardcore. What am I going to name it? I'm probably going to do something dumb like and have HC in the name. HC Kodak, that looks pretty good to me. Actually, this looks better. Kodak goes hardcore. It's a pretty slimy name. And of course, I'm going to want to look like a complete snack. So let me get the right hairdo going. Damn, that looks good to me. Wow, I might actually die on Tutorial Island. That's a uh, GG already. And there we go. Hardcore Iron Man. No point to do a standard Iron Man, because why not just do hardcore? Set a pin. I don't need a pin. Come on. Oh, do I need a pin to start a hardcore? I guess I'll do what all the cool kids do nowadays. Get my hardcore armor. I've never actually looked at the stats on these things. They're uh, pretty good. Alright, how do I want to start my journey? I think dying to a man in Lumbridge will be a good idea. There's two thieving. Account complete. There's Cook's assistant. Kind of have to complete this on every account you make. And uh, you know, you know me, light work. Five cooking. There is Missile and Mystery. 600 crafting XP, a bunch of gems. I've never wanted gems so much in my life. And six crafting. I am literally decked out right now. I got my ghost speak amulet, bronze sword, leather gloves, leather boots. I am in it to win it right now. Here's my free 10k. There is five thieving. I can now thieve from cake stalls. There is X marks the spot. Got a nice antique lamp. What do I want? Guess I'll just put it on agility. And for agility. Here is 20 thieving. I now have a shit ton of bread and cake. There we go. Just got the first piece of fashion scape on this account. Looking like a snack. There is Klein of Karen. Get two antique lamps. Put them on agility. There's seven and one more will get me to ten. Here's 25 agility. Now I don't have to wait 30 damn minutes to get a full energy bar. And you got 11 marks of grace. That's pretty nice. Oh, uh, wow. I really just ran across those dark wizards. Not even thinking about it. <sighs> All right. I think I'm <laughs> going to... Try that again. A couple hours later, and new account, right back where I was. Super fun. Let's just say that is not gonna happen again. There is 15 mining, I can now mine iron ore. I'm sure everyone's seen everyone do this a million times, but there's nine slayer and nine hunter. Damn, this is light work. No one's gonna kill a god in the wilderness. Here is level 13 magic, just barely getting it with the amount of air runes I have. I can now cast Fire Strike. There is Gertrude's cat. I can now sell a bunch of cats to people in Ardoin for death runes. Sounds pretty legal to me. And all the way up to 12 cooking. There is Pirate's Treasure. Got a gold ring and an emerald. That huh? is what I like to see. There is Dork's Quest, the fastest quest in the game, period. Up to 18 mining. Here's the kid's ball with the really bad aim. And here is Witch's House, up to 25 hit points. So he says, thank you for getting my ball back. Yet it's right over there. So I'm starting to think this... This witch is duplicating items. I think that's a bannable offense. There is Druidic Ritual. And I guess this is where the Harbler grind starts because it like, it never ends on an Iron Man. There is Rune Mysteries. Damn, I just murdered a wizard. Look at that upgrade blue wizard robe. Let me drop this useless apron. There's the Restless Ghost. I'll take that prayer XP. Get me up to 10. There is Romeo and Juliet, the most useful quest in the game. It does give five quest points, which is pretty insane. 
There is Hazeel Colt. I had to side with Hazeel on this one because that's like, that's my main man back in the day. And 22 thieving. There is Clock Tower. I don't think I've ever loved receiving 500 coins as much. Alright, uh, let's, uh, let's get this reward, yeah? There is Monk's Friend. 2,000 woodcutting XP. I need those law runes, that's nice. Drinking wine and partying with five bald monks. That is what I like to do on my Sundays. And 13 woodcutting. Here is 30 fire making and I am up to 27 woodcutting. There's no other good way to get fire making up, so that is why I am doing this. And my kitten grew up, but I'm going to wait to do the Ardoin Easy Diary to sell him because he gives double the runes. Here is Sea Slug. Give me all that fishing XP. 24 fishing. And a total of 250. That landed me directly on 250. That's pretty cool. There are the Boots of Light Nest. My best in slot boots. Probably forever. There is Fight Arena. A shit ton of attack XP. Getting me up to 29. And here is the Grand... Um, not the Grand Tree. <laughs> Tree Gnome Village, a bunch more attack XP, bringing me up to 35 attack. New best in slot amulet now. And here is the Grand Tree, a bunch more attack XP, some nice agility XP. Agility sucks, so that is amazing. 31 agility, 41 attack, very nice. And I'm 26 magic now, so I can teleport to Varrock. That's really useful. If I had more than eight law runes, that'd be cool. Here is another big quest. Waterfall quest. A shit ton more of experience. Up to 30 strength and 44 attack. I think I'm getting PTSD from my first death. This guy won't get off me. Damn, I one hit that thing. That was a lot easier than killing the dark wizard. And there is quest complete. Now if I just don't die to a dark wizard, I think I'm good. There's a thousand rune crafting experience, getting to level 9. There's Vampire Slayer, some more attack XP. No level though. Here is the second fastest quest in the game, Behind Orc's Quest, Imketcher. Here is the third fastest quest in the game, Goblin Diplomacy. Five quest points, very nice. And up to 7 crafting. There is Black Knight's Fortress. 2,500 coins, which is actually really helpful right now. Here is Witch's Potion. 325 magic XP and can't even get me the damn level. And of course, the Knight Sword. A million smithing XP. 29 smithing. Here is Dwarf Cannon. And I can say I won't be buying a cannon anytime soon. And 11 crafting. There is Plague City. I can now teleport to Ardoin, which is amazing, and have access to West Ardoin. Now I just need to do Biohazard and two other easy diary tasks, and I will have the easy complete. Then I will sell my cat. The one time these maze runs are actually useful. Can we get anything juicy? Steel arrows, mithril ore, five nature runes. Um, I, I guess that is okay. I don't know how I got such little amount with that much percentage. And here is biohazard. Any day. You got this. There we go. A bit of thieving XP. Is it gonna get me a level? I don't want to talk to you right now. Is that cool? 26 thieving. Now I just have three more tasks to do for the Easy Diary, and I think the hardest one is the Rusted Sword, and I think the best way of getting that is through Dig Site Quest. The Dig Site requires 10 Herbler, so I guess I'm going to do Recruitment Drive for 1000 Herbler XP. So I really should have started the account being female, because it costs 3k GP to become a female to do Recruitment Drive, so that is a lot of money right now. So I am gonna buy a bunch more runes and 
kill the Zamorak warriors in this weird place and just get the ruined scimitar while I'm at it and hopefully make money and not go super dry and use all my runes and get nothing. That would be very upsetting. There we go, literally the fourth kill, a rune dagger, which is a 1 in 125, so that is a very nice drop. I guess this is going to be the last kill, don't have any more runes, and in total 28 kills, I did get 4 magic levels though, that's pretty nice, and a rune dagger, so I definitely made profit. Such a waste of money, but I gotta do it. Ah. <sighs> Here is Recruitment Drive. That's probably the first time I've went through that quest without doing something wrong and having to restart it. So there is a bunch of XP, 14 Prayer, 10 Harbler, 32 Agility. This is probably going to be the end of the first video on the Hardcore Iron Man. Up to 60 quest points, 404 total level, and a bank pin. And a very smelly looking bank. And on the next video, we're going to start Dig Site.